This week on Maker Update, a magic bag of Neo Pixie Dust, my number one video and photography tool, Hydro Dipping 3D Prints, Magpie 59, Making Art for 3D Glasses, and Maker Fairs. It's Wednesday, July 5th. I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope all you guys, at least all you American makers, have had a safe and happy 4th of July. I've had a good week, although the timing of Independence Day is kind of thrown off my production schedule a little bit here. So this is probably going to be a lighter episode and a little bit late, but it's going to be great nonetheless, right? So let's get right into it, starting with my favorite project this week. A big high five to John Park of Adafruit for his guide on making this interactive pixie dust prop he calls the Neo Pixie Dust Bag. It's a little sack of flake salt that diffuses the light from the ring of color changing LEDs behind it. A squeeze of the bag triggers a color change or any number of LED effects. All that's needed to pull this off is a $25 Circuit Playground Express board, a single alligator clip, and a small LiPo battery. It's a relatively cheap project with a big payoff, which is to say, I'm man enough to admit that I would totally make one of these for myself. But another big aspect of what makes this project so great is that the Circuit Playground Express board can make use of the Microsoft Make Code platform, allowing you or your kid to visually configure, test, and tweak the code in an environment that feels so much more approachable than an Arduino or Python IDE. John walks through a couple different animation demos which you can play around with or download and transfer directly to a Circuit Playground. With all these visual variables, it's easy to poke around and change things and make the design your own. I get so excited when I see projects like this that are beginner friendly, relatively affordable, and have an undeniably magical payoff. I haven't seen anything quite like this particular combination, and I'm looking forward to seeing more make code projects. This week for my Cool Tools review, I'm gonna be showing you guys the Manfrotto Magic Arm and Super Clamp. It is $154 on Amazon Prime, which I know is not cheap, but it's been a worthwhile investment for me and I rely on it every single week. And if you happen to pick one up using the link in the video description here, it helps to support my videos and the Cool Tools blog. So what's so magic about the Magic Arm? Well, this is the best tool I've found for getting perfect overhead shots of project builds on your desk or workbench. It has a standard camera mount on the top, a heavy duty clamp on the bottom, and a locking elbow joint in the middle. Unlocked, the whole thing can twist and wiggle around until you find the angle you like, but by locking the elbow, every joint from top to bottom seizes up and holds its place. This is especially handy when you need a heavy camera to cantilever out over your desk and stay still while you drill and solder and screw a project together. Most of my Cool Tool videos, with the exception of this one, are made using this system. The only thing I don't like about it, aside from the price, is that every few months the elbow joint needs to be tightened with an Allen wrench to keep the tension snug. I also sometimes wish the arms were a little bit longer so I could get higher up over my work, but it helps that the clamp has a removable wedge so it can clamp around round poles, like a big tripod, when I need more height. I first learned about the magic arm from a post by maker extraordinaire Becky Stern on makezine.com in 2014, where she shares 10 tips for making great build videos. I'll include a link to that in the description along with an Amazon link for the Magic Arm Kit. And remember, you can see thousands of reader recommended tools just like this at cool-tools.org. Speaking of cool tools, this week I'm on the Cool Tools podcast sharing some of my favorite tools, including the Magic Arm, which is what made me think to include it this week. The interview is from back in March, before I started working for Cool Tools, and before I had completed my car for Maker Faire, so I, I'm talking about it in the future tense back then. Um, but it's still a fun listen, and it's an honor to be on the podcast, a podcast that I've enjoyed for such a long time, so check it out. Over on Adafruit, the Ruiz brothers have an outstanding guide on applying designs to your 3D printed projects using a technique called hydro dipping. You basically print to a transfer film, float it on the surface of the water, and then carefully dip your 3D print into the film. It looks really cool and a neat way to dress up your projects. There's a new issue of Magpie Magazine out, issue 59. It includes a bunch of summer Raspberry Pi projects. I downloaded the free PDF of the issue and while I was reading through it, I learned about an online interactive reference for the Pi's GPIO pins. The site is called pinout.xyz 
And not only does it detail which pins are what, but you can click on them too and see details about each one. And my friend Josh Ellingson, who made the illustration of me riding the kitty grabs back, he has a guide on his site for making your own 3D artwork in Photoshop that can be viewed using old school red and blue 3D glasses. As an example, he shows how he created the 3D album art for this 7-inch record by Aloha Screwdriver, which happens to be my band. So, side note, I play guitar in a band with a new 7-inch record out that comes with 3D glasses. I'll leave a link in the show notes on how to pick one up if you're interested. Maker Fairs! There are just two this weekend. The Biggie is in Nantes, France, home of the La Machine Workshop and their big crazy steampunk creatures. The second is in Reno, Nevada, which is in its fourth year. If you get to either one, shoot me an email and let me know how it was. I'm Donald at MakerProjectLab.com. All right, and that's it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe and like and comment or send me an email or all of those things. And if that Manfrotto Magic Arm is going to be a game changer for you the way it was for me, be sure to pick one up using the link in the video description, and that really helps to support me in my videos. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.